back again with a quick update on the trade alert that I sent out uh, of the pound cad. I just want to make sure everybody's clear where we stand here and what's going on with the trade. Looks like we had a nice little breakout, but being with that it's Friday today and also the Easter holiday, the trade pretty much you might not see much more movement now because um, it's already uh, 10:43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time. So. I don't think you'll see much more movement now there's a possibility that we could get down to this level this is the main level that we wanted to trade to get down to before we could see if it would have broke this level and continued lower it was um 185285 so that was the level we were shooting for we got pretty close there and now prices started to retrace we're getting far from the Keijin Sen, so I don't know you might see some ranging in this area before maybe you get a, a break lower so I think being that it's Friday and the end of the weekend the end of the week and also the Easter holiday it's probably best to tr close out this trade so you're looking to see currently you probably have about a good 60 something pip profit so it's not a bad short little trade just for the quick time because you had the opportunity to get down to this level as I said um, 18 52.85 also we could have moved it up closer to this level as you see some support and resistance here so it's pretty much a zone an area where you have that support and re resistance and I like to make my levels zones so if I was looking at a zone I would have put it in like this this would have been the bottom of the zone and maybe I might have kept it at here because you got this long wick and then you have close here so that's my zone wanted to see price get into that level but again being that it's Friday I suggest that you probably close out the trade and take the little bit of profit that we've we've had here and there's other alerts that will be coming out again soon so just stay tuned and thank you guys and have a great holiday happy Easter and God bless so long all right traders I'm back again with another quick video just want to show you a trade that I made I was in this trade and then we had the um, NFP happened today so I happened to stay in the trade and made even more profit so what I'm looking at is the New Zealand dollar US dollar on the daily time frame so I didn't really trade Ichimoku okay I had the Ichimoku support and resistance levels in here and that's also you see this brown line here this is going to represent the support and resistance of the Kumo cloud at the top upper level and then you see the blue line here this is going to represent the Kijun support and resistance level alright so we're gonna use these levels in our trading but we're not gonna trade with Ichimoku here because Ichimoku is a little flat here and we wanna wait till it gets a chance to move out and start moving because Ichimoku is not good in a ranging market this is not a real range yet per se but it's not really a, tr a trend either so you can see how everything's flat with Ichimoku and we don't like that flat flatness okay so we took Ichimoku off the chart and what we did here was looked at the price action of the um, support and resistance levels. So you see the level that I'm looking at is my Kijun level and I had nice support at that level and I've, ta I've talked about finding support at that level and here we did find support on the daily time frame. So I traded that daily time frame um, big doji here and I yielded some profit and then today was the NFP and it came into my advantage and then I took this down to the four hour time frame because it's Friday guys and I don't want to leave this trade open over the weekend it's Friday and it's also the Easter holiday so no need to leave this trade open I really would love to leave it open but just those um, conditions don't really yield it for me so what happened was when I saw the long wick up here I had another I put my uh, stop loss I had my stop loss here when uh, NFP started and then I had a nice move and then I moved my stop loss all the way up to a doji that was developed here now price has moved even farther down but I had a doji here and I put my stop loss there and I allowed it to take me out I figured if price was going to go higher it would go higher if not it would hang around here because today's Friday it's going to sit around it's not going to do too much more movement now so I took the profit at 126 you could see the 126.6 and I let that go and boom took me out got that profit and I'm done for tr with trading for the week and I also had another trade on so 
I'm going to go to the other trade also and show you guys. So you see, I don't just have to use Ichimoku. I can use aspects of Ichimoku support and resistance. But when I see that the market's not really ranging, I mean, not really trending, sorry. I don't have to use Ichimoku until I start seeing a trend develop. And there's so much time to get in on a trend, especially with using Ichimoku. There's so many different ways to get into the market. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So you see we had a breakout here and price went all the way up here. Price broke out but there was still another opportunity to get back into the market and catch even this move and this move. So you had a chance to catch even more profit just waiting you know. You don't have to take every breakout you don't have to take. Here's a breakout and if I had to end my breakout in here somewhere I could have just been patient and waited for another chance to get into the market and we get in the market on these pullbacks and sure enough the market dropped we would have had another chance to get into the market so you're always going to have opportunities to get in the market so no matter how far this goes it'll eventually pull back somewhere and then we could get into the market so if you're a Fibonacci trader maybe you want to enter that way with Fibonacci um, retracements are you know support and resistance levels but I have different ways that I enter the market on pullbacks I don't really use Fibonacci I do use it here and there but I have ways that I think I see the market structure um, showing me better ways to um, enter on pullbacks so we we do a lot of that with the uh, home video course teaching people how to catch these pullbacks and where to catch the pullback and what to look for when you're trying to take a pullback trade so that's going to be the most kind of trade that you'll see me make uh, here was a Kumo breakout here but we didn't even look at this time frame when we entered the trade what we were looking at was the daily time frame and the support and resistance levels and we didn't have Ichimoku on here and we looked at the support and resistance and then the price action and then we entered the trade so that's how we did, did on that trade and we did the exact same thing for this trade you're going to see here this is the New Zealand dollar um, yen trade that also just took profit. Now I could have stayed in this trade, but again I didn't stay in. It's the weekend, uh, and we pretty much did use Ichimoku here. You could see where price broke above the cloud, had a Kumo breakout, but then what does price do? It comes all the way back down. It even violated the Kijun level here, so there was a chance to get into the market. And if you take this to the four hour time frame you'll find a better opportunity to get into the market alright but let's go back to the daily and when I traded this I'm looking at the support and resistance level and I just wanted to remove Ichimoku from there and trade that and then I'm trading that pullback at a support and resistance level I found that level and then you just enter on the price action trade and that trade yielded me 140 pips today. So today I close out with 126.6 and 140.7 pips on two trades made this week. And then also uh, I sent out a trade to every um, every person who basically um, signed up for my what it was what was it signed up for my newsletter. So I want to show that trade. That trade is this here, the pound CAD. I sent this trade alert out to people, as I said, who just signed up for my newsletter. So you didn't have to be a member to get this trade alert. And, you know, I could do that here and there. I'll send out these trade alerts. But I looked at the daily time frame. And on the daily time frame, what do we have? We have a Kumo breakout. So that's something that I've been teaching forever with Ichimoku, the Kumo breakout, because it's the most easiest and simple and basic trade entry to get into and you see it happen a lot and when you get a breakout you get sometimes you get good profits you know a breakout here yielded a little bit of profit price came back came inside the cloud nice price action breakout and look how much profit that yielded if you were able to stay in the trade that long all right but then here's another breakout now the only thing here I sent the alert out I sent this alert out yesterday and then I told people to look at the four hour time frame because we're we're entering based off of this Kumo breakout but we wanted to look at the four hour time frame and when we look at the four hour time frame we want to get a candle closed below that cloud because we had a breakout on both time frames which was really strong signal there so when you had that breakout on both time frames we took the breakout based off of the daily time frame not really um, the four hour time frame but we found a better entry here and here's where we entered the market 
right so when we entered the market here price came back up a little bit and stalled a little bit so I don't know if people were quick to get out of the trade but you have to give trades a chance to move if you were patient and stayed in the trade you could have yielded some nice profit let's see about basically how far did this thing go could have had a good 89 90 pips but right now you're about close to 50 or so so I was looking at this level I wanted to make sure that this was the level that we tried to get down to you could probably move this level to a certain couple of places I like to see this is another level where you might have marked here but I moved it down to here and then I made a zone I make zones based off of wick so this is the top of the zone the bottom of the zone I think if it wasn't Friday I would really let this trade run but being that it's Friday and Easter holiday at that I think traders if you're in this trade still and you already saw this um, um, trade alert that I sent out and you're in this trade I think you should cancel your trade now with the little bit of profit that you have probably about 50 pips now but I wouldn't leave this trade run over the weekend because the thing about this trade I think this trade is reaching a, a pullback level where it may start to pull back so you may get price pulling back when it opens up and then there will be another opportunity to get into the market so you could look for that opportunity next week all right so but I think now it's just time to take profit because it's not a good good time to leave trades open right now over the weekend pretty much the big boys are done trading right now it's the holiday weekend NFP just took place so they're probably done with trading they're done for sure so I think we should be done also right we get the little bit of profit we have and we could look for next week all right so traders that's a that's about it for now I'll be back next week with something um, hopefully we have some good opportunities and we can post some good things to help people get into some good trades but again sign up for my um, newsletter go to my site fx at one and sign up for my newsletter and you'll get these trade alerts here and there sometime when I send them out to all members I send them out to um, the free members and then I send them out to sometime I just have trade alerts only for paying members that receive other trade alerts but a lot of these Kumo breakouts and I'll send out to um, just people who sign up for my uh, newsletter right okay guys so it's time to get out of here because it's good Friday and this is a very special day for me for all Christians because this is a day that our Savior has died for us to um, redeem us from our sins and save us and that uh, possibility and chance to have eternal life so we just want to give thanks today and Sunday Easter Sunday the day that Christ rose just thanking him for that so it's this time of the year is very special for me so I think that I'm gonna end this um, video and also let you guys know that the weekend is here with that holiday so make sure you close out your trades alright alright happy Easter guys and God bless so long